filing, printing, copying, never-ending paperwork. They are, of course, all fodder for another episode of The Office. But quite <laughs> seriously, they eat up vast amounts of time and money. Keith Kroc is the CEO of DocuSign, and he's trying to change all of it. He's built a business on electronic signature technology, and he is here as part of our New Economy series. Keith, good morning to you. Good morning, Eric. Thanks so for having So you were the, it's a pleasure, you were the youngest vice president in General Motors history. You started Ariba, a pioneer in B2B. What attracted you to DocuSign? Well, it, it's just an incredible opportunity in terms of changing the way business is done. This is one of the biggest markets I've ever seen. Every company, every department in that company, potential uh, customer, every person is a potential user. So Ariba cr created the B2B e-commerce area. There's a tremendous network effect, and this is the network what? effect on steroids. So for those of us who haven't used DocuSign yep. or don't know whether they've used right. DocuSign or not because they might have and didn't realize it. How does it work? Right. Well, it's it's simple. Uh, as opposed to uh, signing by hand, printing, faxing, scanning, um, uh, overnight delivery, it does it all electronically, all encrypted, uh, and it's a very simple process. And, and with one of your funds, you've picked up Mary Meeker as well? Yeah, Mary on Meeker's on our board of directors. You, you have one of the most interesting track records of anyone I know in technology. Everybody hits once. I mean, all these guys hit once, and, you know, they do this, they do that, they buy the San Francisco 49ers. <laughs> you've done I this wish like four everybody times. Hit once. <laughs> you did Ariba, you did the Rasta thing before that. What's the crock? What's the magic that you have? I, I think I'm just addicted to the adrenaline rush of, of uh, uh, building great companies, uh, making a difference out there in, in the world. And it's always something. What's that your really best practice right now for not screwing up on Silicon Valley? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's never be afraid to uh, challenge the status quo. Uh, uh, focus, and, but the number one thing is we measure our success by our customer success. Okay. Mo Koifman of Spark Capital, you've seen a lot of companies. Does Verisign have the potential to be a game changer? Is it a game changer or could this be another commodity in uh, security? You know, I, I, I think it was said, uh, it, it really is a function of the product and do they deliver the best product to customers? At the end of the day, this is going to happen. There's absolutely no question in my oh, mind. Oh, we get that. We're all the only we all want to move to a paperless. It's going to happen. The only question is who's going to win the battle, and 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 it comes down to who delivers the best product to consumers well, and Keith, who puts who them first. Who is your competitor uh, in providing electronic signatures? Yeah, we've got about 75% uh, market share. It's it's literally grown every day. Who's got the other 25%? Uh, there's a bunch of little startups who have basically done that. When you look at uh, you know what I would say our biggest competitor what's been done for the last 3,000 years. That, that's paper and pen. If, if you look at our business, we're a verb in the uh, real estate business. I mean, if you're doing a real estate transaction, you'll be docu-signing it. Uh, financial services is huge. We have 11 of the top 15 Wall Street banks. We're visiting the other four. It's, yeah. Two questions, if sure. I could, very quickly. IPO or sell it out to somebody else? How do you make that decision? Our objective is to build a great long-term sustaining business. I, 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 I I believe we've got an opportunity right. like a Twitter, like a LinkedIn, so we, we have no interest in selling the company. One more more question, if I may. I have a horrendous life. I have to sit next to someone who went to Purdue. <laughs> You're on the board of trustees of Purdue, right? Yeah. Generally. What are you going to do about the Purdue Boilermakers, the Boilermakers football team? Uh, what are you doing <laughs> before next September about stinking, lousy <laughs> Purdue football? Well, I'll tell you, we're getting our guys out there and practicing it. Oh, you stop you know, it. It's Do up. something. That was embarrassing. <laughs> Uh, well, it was a tough season, but, uh, you know, Purdue is just the greatest university. And we're very excited to have well, Mitch Daniels as our new president. We just put on a new football coach. Great. Oh, I love the Boilermakers. They're all Thank e you. that they're going to try their <laughs> hardest. They're all docu-signed. The trustees do all their uh, minutes, all official work docu-signed. And, and, and so. by the way, the point on fighting paper and pen is a really important one, because that really is your current enemy. And I think there's there's a lot of near-term headroom quickly, here. Quickly, Mo, we got about 20 seconds. Yeah. Should Iron Mountain buy this company? Uh, I don't know if they could afford it. <laughs> Hang on a second. Iron Mountain is a five and a half billion dollar market cap. I'm just playing. But um, look, uh, I would I would take a serious look at it. All right. Mo Korfman of Spark Capital, Keith Kroc of DocuSign. We thank you for being here. Interesting company. We'll be watching you.